To discharge your patient from the ECG monitor screen, you'll simply click on your patient, go to admit discharge, and what you'll do, you'll look all the way over to discharge. Once you hit discharge, it's gonna double check and make sure this wasn't an accident. All data for the patient will be deleted. Once this patient is deleted off this screen, all of the ECG that has been saved will be erased. You hit discharge. It'll take a minute to register up here, but always remember hit home, hit home again, and there's no more Athena on the screen. Now to take the ECG off of your patient, She's down here, she's ready. She said she's had enough. <laughs> You'll take your conform tie gauze. You'll go ahead and first untie that just to make sure that your box is freely moving and it can be removed from your patient. I slide my hands up here. Just pull that out. And again, my vet wrap is still in place. We'll deal with that in just a moment. You'll reach under the sweater, you'll pinch to remove the leads from the ECG pads. And your pads can stay in place at this moment. You'll repeat that on the other side. And it comes off fairly easy. What you'll do, you'll set your ECG box to the side because we will have to clean that after. Please do not cut the ECG sweater off of a patient, um, especially if the leads are still attached. If you've already removed the leads, it is fine to cut it. Um, oftentimes we are really quick and we move really quickly to go cut it and then we accidentally cut our ECG lead wires. Um, unfortunately, that's a very expensive accident. Um, so what you wanna do is once you've removed your leads from your patient, you can go ahead and um, cut your sweater off at that time. And then just slide it down those are good to go um, as far as taking um, as far as taking her ECG leads off um, I do use the medical adhesive remover um, it's very kind especially in patients that may have an underlying disease um, such you know thin skin if they have issues with um, platelets and things it can cause them to bruise if you're pulling off these pads because these pads are as you can see very adhered they're meant to stay on um, so I just lift up the little tab that's on them and spray the adhesive remover, just rub it with my finger, and it comes off fairly easy with a little bit of adhesive remover. And then you can always spray a little more, and it comes right off. You'll repeat this for all of your pads. I know, I'm sorry. Um, most of the times they're more worried about why the adhesive is making a sound, and it's touching them, the adhesive remover. All done. Um, and then it leaves, she'll have a nice haircut for a while, which will grow back. And then I'm gonna turn you around, beauty queen. I know, I'm so, oh, don't wait, it's okay, it's okay. I just wanna okay. take it's these okay. off. It's okay, Athena. And then just repeat it on this side. You can spray more than one at a time to help expedite the process. Um, and then it comes, comes off pretty quickly. There you go. There you go, sweet girl. So once you've removed all of it, your patient is free to go. And then we get to the most important part, cleaning and caring for our ECG monitor and ECG leads. And the way we do that is make sure that the conform gets removed from the attachment piece and make sure that your vet wrap is removed from your ECG lead wires. Please, if you can help it, please do not use um, tape to secure these as it does leave a sticky residue on the leads. What I like to do is once you have everything off, make sure that you hold down your power button. It will ask if you'd like to power off and gives you the option with this arrow for yes or no. You're gonna hit yes and hit the middle button, which is enter and it will turn off your box. It is very important to turn your box off or it will stay running despite being discharged from the screen and will deplete your battery and you will have to rechange your batteries every time you use your box. Once you've turned off your monitor, if you notice there's any hair, 
caked under this, you can take the silicone sleeve off and rinse off the silicone sleeve, dry it thoroughly and replace it on the, the monitor. But because it looks like most of the hair is on the outside, I'm gonna take a alcohol gauze with the lead still securely attached and wipe off the outside of the monitor box. You can wipe off the leads. And just make sure you wipe everything down. And then I take a dry gauze can go over it as well. Once the leads are disconnected from the ECG monitoring box, it is no longer waterproof. It is very important that during cleaning, this seal is not broken. So once everything is dry, you may gently wiggle to remove, and then you have your two separate pieces again. Make sure that you place your ECG wires neatly back in the Ziploc bag in which they came and they get returned up on the shelf next to the monitor as well as the small monitoring box. Both items get replaced into the bin.